Hello everyone, welcome to Set Apart is 144. My name is Sister Mildred. Welcome to this ministry. Welcome. Okay, so um family of Israel. <laughs> um I want to share my discernment with you guys. All right. Um as you know that I mentioned that I'm sorry, my voice is a little rusty. But um as I mentioned with you guys that I uh I went away uh to the secret place with the most high um uh, two one and a half, two weeks ago and in that fast was very eye opening. Um the Lord revealed a lot of truth to me, things that um I began to ask him, he revealed to me um a lot of things that he, he he's given me, so on and so forth. I pretty much went deeper um in him and he began to show me deeper things in him and one of the things i had asked him was about a particular uh prophet a prophetess who's here on youtube that i've been um um subscribed to for some time now and i asked i began to ask him because um while while you're fasting you know your spiritual antennas become are just very uh, you become very aware of everything around you um your atmosphere um things that you've been um accumulating over past weeks past past months you know things are just you you just have more discernment you are able to see more clearly you're able to hear more clearly when you whenever you're fasting um from your flesh and your spirit is rising higher your spiritual tenors are able to pick up a lot of things so i don't know i was just led to ask the lord about this particular prophetess and the lord gave me a dream about her and i was so shocked i was so shocked on the things that i saw um and i was like lord please confirm it to me if this is from you because um I asked out loud. I didn't ask in my mind where the enemy came down here. I asked out loud. So I don't know if I have any monitoring spirits who's around me um and who's able to try to come and mess with my dreams and then now I'm here, you know, just misjudging um this person and this dream didn't even come from you. Please, Lord, make it clear for me. Um, please send me another confirmation if this was from you. Um, and um, so that I won't sin um, against um, another person from me thinking about this person from a dream that I didn't even get from you. So the Lord began, the Lord began to uh, tell me to go back to go rewatch her videos and listen to her, listen to how she speaks, listen to the words that she's using to speak, to use to speak. And because in the, in the dream, the Lord showed me that, um, she was very manipulative. She was very manipulative. And also that she was trying to use me Like in the dream. I saw that she was trying to use me for something and she was trying to manipulate me for something and I'm like wow so that was very shocking um so now uh so now he told me to continue to to go back and rewatch her videos listen to how she speaks listen to the words that she uses to speak um and I'm like okay so I'm in I'm in fasting mode okay there's no food in my belly it's my flu- it's, it's my spirit who's picking up things, who's, you know, my, again, my spiritual tenors were, was very, was very high. Um, um, I was able to hear and see more clearly. So I was able to understand that dream more. And, um, the Lord, uh, confirmed that yes, it was him who gave it to me. And I understood when I went back to watch her videos, I'm like, okay, I understand. I understand. I get it now. So, um, this is not a, like a an ex, a rebuke or a, 
exposing type of video. Um, the Lord, I don't feel led to rebuke this person or expose this person right um as of right now. Um, the whole point of this video is that <laughs> um, I just want to let the body of Christ know that to stop idolizing YouTube prophets or whatever prophet that you may be going to a church um, and you're under that ministry and so on and so forth. Um, whenever you um, click on a prophetic word or prophecy from, from somebody, it should always be a confirmation to what the Lord had revealed to you already. You shouldn't have, you shouldn't be treating that person as a psychic where like, it's like a, she, she or he could be a go-to where you're always going to that person to find out what the Lord is saying. You yourself, okay, um, is a child of God and you should have a close intimate relationship with him to the point where he's giving you news as well. He's giving you, um, the future and of what's to come and, um, giving you revelations and speaking to you, downloading things to you, getting revelations from the most high. You should be having that type of relationship with your heavenly father to begin with. Okay. So now, but when once the, but the, the thing is, is that the body of Christ is full of lazy, spoon-fed Christians where they don't um go to the to the to the Lord to find out anything. They would rather just go on YouTube and click click on the prof the next prophetic word that comes um your way. Um and I myself made a decision to remove myself to unsubscribe to all of the um, prophets on YouTube, I re I decided to remove myself from them because I myself is a prophetess of the Most High God of Israel, and I hear and see from Him. So I want to make sure that I'm not giving anyone in my ministry um, something that I'm I I could have heard from someone else or in my conscience, or anything like that, I want to make sure that I'm um, giving you what I hear and see from the Lord straight from the horse's mouth. So I want to make sure that um, my communication with the Lord is strictly from him and I, and, and me and him, and that I'm not um, over saying something or repeating something that I could have heard from another prophet's mouth. So I decided to remove, unsubscribe my myself from other people to make sure that my relationship, my communication with the Lord is strictly between him and I. Um, because I say this because, um, there was like a lot, like last year or two years ago when I was following this particular, uh, prophetess before I knew that she was a false prophetess and a witch, um, I was following her, I was under her ministry, and um, the Lord began to reveal to her in the spirit to me that she was not of him, and she's actually a witch, and, like, I used to get dreams of the things that she was releasing in, um, in, her, in, in, on YouTube, and I used to, like, that used to make me feel like, oh, she was legit, because everything that she was saying, I was getting dreams about. Um, but later on, I found out that this lady was stealing dreams from people and, um, she actually astro projects to people's homes and steals dreams from people. You know, she's actually a, uh, like a active witch and she's blended in trying to act like she's a prophetess, but she's not. She's actually a, de uh, a seed from the devil. She's, she's working for the devil. She's in secret. She's a secret agent trying to act like she's a prophetess, but she's not. So anyway, um, all that being said, um, you know, a lot of people feel like, you know, oh, this person is legit because, oh, the Lord gave him a, a, this certain dream and the person said the same thing and she there. But this is where 
this is where witchcraft, divination, um, and following the wrong ministry leads down. Okay, you become some. A lot of the times, you you get soul ties from these people. They they are literally trying to. They're doing witchcraft on their subscribers, making you, manipulating you, making you um, idolize them, making you go to them so that they can um, get paid from YouTube, you know, so that their videos can be out there, so that they could be known and famous and so on and so forth. The list goes on, okay? So, my whole point, again, is to, like, give you guys a light warning to stop putting your whole full trust in people in man and put and take that same energy and that same attention and investment into yeah you could never be misled or misguided by putting your full faith and trust in yeah people man woman Will, could always fail you, okay? They mess up, they, have a, they, they do mistakes, they have mistakes, and sometimes they let um, the enemy get to them through the spirit of mammon, the spirit of Baal, okay? There's, there's a lot of spirits who, who attack leaders, and next thing you know, they're, they're leading you astray, and then you, they, become your, they become your idol in their lives, in your life, Okay? They're trying to manipulate you, trying to get you to always come to them for information, for revelations, for knowledge and wisdom, okay? Um, instead of routing you, rerouting you to the Lord, they, they become your God. They become an idol in your life. And now you feel like you cannot live without them. You feel like, oh, if, if you don't see them for a whole week, oh my God, oh my God, you where is she? Where is she? She needs to continue com continue giving me giving me prophetic words and prophecies and 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 telling me about um sin and blah, blah, blah. like you you attach yourselves to them, right? And like like they are they're they're your new Messiah like they're they're Christ themselves. No 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 no. Okay no, the Lord does not want us to act like this. And we're, we are always looking for the next king. We're always looking for the next one true prophet of God, the one true prophetess of God to come around and save the day and help. The, no, the Lord wants us to have all of that energy and focus on him. Okay. The Lord gives us callings and uh, gifts. All right. To help us without salvation so on and so forth, but he does not want us to make each other idols to replace him. Our God, the God of Israel, he is a jealous God. He is very jealous. Okay. He doesn't want us to make no, make no other God before him. He wants us to worship him and him only. All right. If you want knowledge, if you want wisdom, if you want revelations, go to him and he will give them to you. Stop being lazy and and stop putting your full trust in a woman or a man on YouTube. You know, like you're treating them like they're like like they're psychics. You're going to them for your future. You're going to them to hear a word from the Lord. But the same word that you heard from them, you can also receive it from the Lord yourself. They are no, they are no better than you. There's no prophet is better than you. Okay, stop uh, idolizing prophets on YouTube. The same information that they can get, you can also get from the Lord. The Lord gives every, anything to any, all of his children, all right? Um, again, so I'm not going to, you know, call out any names in this video. In the future, if the Lord uh, leads me to call... Um, to reveal what he's revealed to me in the spirit. Um, oh, best believe I will do what that says the Lord, because I fear him. I don't fear nobody else. And, um, again, 
um please take this uh, this video back to the lord um and uh again i'm not here trying to sow any discord i'm here trying to share my discernment on something and um for people to because again the lord like the lord sees his children idolizing people and if you do feel like you're doing that, please repent. You need to repent. Okay? You need to repent if you find yourself doing this. All right? Prophets are not better than you. You can get you can know what's about to happen as well if you ask the Lord. He'll tell you. He'll give you the same revelations. He'll speak to you in his word. He'll give you visions. He'll give you dreams. You are his child. Okay. Um, again, the, uh, this, this person, the Lord showed me she was manipulating. Um, she was trying to manipulate me. And when I went back to her videos, this is she's doing that with her words. She knows how to speak and she knows how to get people to uh, make people come to her, make drawing people to her, you know, it's, it's funny because she likes to, she likes to, um, call out, you know, other idols, you know, that people are, are idolizing, you know, but her herself, she's, she's manipulating people to idolize her in a way. Um, in a very sneaky way. And if you're not in fast, if you're not fasting, if you're not in the secret place with the most high, you, these things will bypass you and you will not even know it. This is why you have to plug into the father. You have to, you have to fast, fast your flesh. So your spirit can pick up things so you can see. So, you know, these things will be glass to you. You'll be able to see through things. Once you plug into the father, because once you plug into him, you see what he sees, you hear what he's telling you. Okay. I highly suggest that everybody, um, praise and fast about everyone that they watch, because it doesn't matter if, um, people's prophecies could be true or not, but you have to test every spirit. You have to test every person. Um, and that's what I did during my fast. And the Lord gave me, gave me what he gave me. Okay. Um, anyways. Yeah. So, um, I love you guys so much. I love you guys so much. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to end this video right here. Okay. Um, for Christ, we live for Christ. Our flesh dies until next time. Shalom.